A couple years ago, Consumer Physics launched SIO, a handheld sensor that could analyze the molecular composition of objects to help you learn more about them. At this year's CES, the company is taking the next step by integrating SIO directly into a smartphone. Yep, it's a tricorder. I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is the world's first Spectrum phone. I'm going to lay this down right up front. The phone itself is nothing to look twice at. We've seen countless variations on this design from umpteen manufacturers, and you can find better specs, software, and industrial design elsewhere. What makes it compelling is the little sensor window up in the corner, which is essentially a miniaturized version of the handheld SIO. Scanning something is actually pretty simple. You open up one of the preloaded apps, put the sensor right up against whatever you want to know more about, and push the button. A little LED fires a near-infrared pulse at the subject, and the reflected light is analyzed by the spectrometer. The way the light interacts with the molecules of the subject conveys a lot of information about its composition. And that information is compared against a cloud database and then interpreted by the app to tell you things like the sugar content of a piece of fruit, or what your body fat level is, or even whether a pharmaceutical is genuine or a knockoff. Yes, yes, LOL Viagra, but there's a reason it's the test sample here. It's one of the most commonly counterfeited pharmaceuticals. I was also shown a Tamagotchi-like game wherein a virtual creature gets happier when you scan in healthy foods and sadder when you scan unhealthy stuff. Not the most entertaining game, but an effective demonstration of what developers could do with this platform. And they're moving ahead on the hardware front, too, with things like connected scales and water bottles that analyze the composition of whatever's put on or inside them. I really dig all this direct sensing stuff because, like a thermal camera, it opens up an entirely new layer of perception when it comes to the world around you, letting you see things normally hidden. That said, I wish there were some more useful applications being showcased. I mean, no one is going to use this thing to scan fruit at the grocery store to see which piece is more ripe. And body fat measurement outside of a doctor's office is still an error-prone exercise. Also, while I love the medication analysis, I have to admit I'm just not ready to trust a phone with telling me whether a pill is safe to put in my body. Maybe I'm just a little paranoid. How much will you pay for the Spectrum phone? Well, we're looking at a converted price of about 430 bucks when the H2 launches in China in June 2017. No word on what the price will be when it comes to the U.S. officially in other markets later this year, but I'd say the better way to go, if you want this capability today, is just to buy the SIO scanner, which costs $299 and will pair with pretty much any iPhone or Android you want. Come to think of it, that's probably what I'm going to do. Because I think some real-world usage with this is about as close as I'm going to come to a 21st century tricorder. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see down in the comments. And hey, be sure to subscribe to Mr. Mobile on YouTube for more crazy cutting-edge tech talk from CES 2017. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.